Hey there and welcome everybody. I finalized this um, super jewel ringer circuit and mounted it in a light fixture type setup with a piece of wood and a bunch of uh, uh, 120 volt um, lamp holders. So first we're going to test this on a CFL. This is actually a broken CFL, it wouldn't work uh, in the normal light fixture. So I'm going to test it to see if it work, will work with this. So here it goes. It's kind of coming on. Here it goes, four brightness. These 120 volt LED lamp bulbs. One of them's not coming on, let's see. I don't think it's in properly. Try again. So there they are, full brightness on all of those. Okay, I've got a single, but a single cell in there, 3.7 volt. And I'm running one of the bulbs. I've turned, unscrewed the others partially. And it's drawing to run that bulb, it's drawing 175 milliamps to run that at full brightness. Now what we're going to do is turn this one to get this one to connect. So now there's two bulbs. And it's still, it's actually drawing less current. It's like 171 milliamps. And those two are near full brightness. Now we're going to turn, do the third one. So now we have three And we're drawing even less milliamps. Here I'm running an LED and a um, CFL fluorescent light at the same time off a battery pack. And uh, see if I can run another LED off it. And put one more in. See what that does. Now. I just opened up a CFL, took out the inverter. And I've connected this setup directly to the CFL minus the inverter. And I'm going to check it to see if it generates enough voltage to run it without an inverter. So let's see how that works. And it does not. It does not do anything. This is most likely as there has to be some kind of load to get the system oscillating. And there's no load with a CFL that has the inverter removed. In this setup, there's a regular dual thief setup with a center tap, and I have a CFL with the inverter removed, and this lights up pretty well without um, much effort from a 5 volt power supply, as you can see here.